Okay, folks. They're doing some weird stuff here. Uh, as of right now, it was, uh, for the most part, pretty clear, but then all of a sudden, the southwest, we started getting some, of course, spraying like usual, but you can tell that they're just, what they're doing right now with these chemicals is, with the pulsing, they're actually expanding, pushing the ionosphere up. You can see with the little ripples right there. But they're really just all colliding from different directions. You can see, again, some more, the ripples right there, right there. Just a lot of different pulses coming from different directions. And yeah, look at that. Right over there. Go check out in the front. So here we are out in the front. Not too bad in the north. It's pretty sunny, so it's going to be hard to get these other shots. But it's like once you see over there, it's pretty nasty. Especially this spot right here. Alright, so I just noticed something. It's really hard to see because the sun is blinding. But you can see the ripples right there coming this, like that. You can see them like that. Like that. And then you can see the other ones coming this way. Real finite ripples. I mean, they, they're really pulsing us with some energy. And of course you see right there in that break some more. And then you can see how they're then again coming this way. So, I mean, they're really just pulsing us. Uh, with something fierce today. Uh, you know, and you see this blue, really, this blue is just one big harp ring. That's what it is. You can't, it's hard to see when you're on the ground, but that's what it is. It's a big harp ring, and it's right overhead. Again, you can see right there, the ripples going up and down. So, I came kind of shoot on the other same side I was just showing, but from the back, huh? when you start to see the rainbow colors, you know, or that kind of, um, it kind of has like this glow, like a metallic glow. And that's, of course, the, uh, the metal particles, the aluminum, barium, Okay, guys, so I was just talking about the rainbows. I was talking about the glowing and the, basically the energizing of these little metal particles, but I actually saw a rainbow. <laughs> there it is. You can see it right there. I mean, so really, it just kind of verifies what I was just saying. I didn't see that before, but now I do see it. Okay, so for those who are saying, well, where are these chemicals coming from? Where are they coming from? Well, let's... Let's go and let's... Let's track one of these bastards, as I call them. There they are, right there. Huh? Oh, we got a nice close up of them. These are the scum shits, scumbag shitheads. Probably not even any people in these things. They're probably just run by computers. You know, like drones. I would hope, man, because whoever these people are, they they have no soul, that's for sure. 
Okay, again, for those naysayers and... Yeah, you want to be skeptical? That's great. It's great to be skeptical, right? So let's see, there's a plane right there. Actually, I'm trying to get him. There he is, okay, so there he is. There's a plane, not leaving any contrails. Yes, he is a lower altitude. But even planes that are taking off leave little uh, contrails on the wings, right? I've seen it before when planes take off when I was in the air wing in the military. So there's a plane, not leaving any contrails. But, oh, oh wait a minute. What's this guy here? The contrail that that little shithead just left about... Ooh, I waited. It's been about, what, a couple minutes now? Five minutes. It's still up there. So... But hey, who knows, right? Those are just regular clouds, right? They're not anything. So, and here's the other side. Just going to the back. There's the same chemtrail. Staying, uh, basically, it's, it's not, uh... It's not breaking apart. You know, and one last thing I was going to leave w uh, with you guys is last night I had this dream. It was pretty eerie because every once in a while I have dreams where there's, I'm actually seeing chemtrails and spraying um, in my dreams. You know, you could say, oh, well, that's just your subconscious, right? Uh, but this one had black chemtrails. I could see little black particles instead of white ones. I don't know what it meant. Oh, see, there's another plane, right? So where's... Where's the contrails coming out of these ones, you douchebags? They're gonna leave little, you little trolls. Mister, I'm an empiricist. I, you know, I only, I only base reality off facts. Well, here's facts there for you. This one ain't leaving any co uh, contrails, is it? Let me zoom in for you. Where's the contrails on that, huh? Oh, it must not be a, must be a turbo, two 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 engine, right? Whatever. Yeah, last night I saw black chemtrails coming out overhead. And I don't know what that means, but to me, I listen to my dreams. So. Alright, so here's kind of the, just about a, 25 minutes, maybe. I mean, we're even seeing some invisible chemtrails right there. That's when you know you got some heavy weather modification going on. The invisible one right there. We'll have a little bit of blue from the circle, the ring. But that's what it looks like. It's just stacked. And then, of course, we have another ring. Our ring right over here. That's why you have the ribs right here. And then you have the just swirling. Do you see a little swirling there in the middle? So, hey guys, I'm back. And, um, you know, I wasn't planning on doing this because it usually takes a while. <laughs> but this one was so fast and so strong that it literally just took the sunlight away. I mean, it looks like it's getting ready to rain when you first come out. I mean, you saw how green it was just a little while ago. This is only within a 45-minute period that they took the I mean, they always take the sun away. But, I mean, they're literally going to brew up a storm here in, you know, just basically hardly any time at all. Like, lickety-split. I mean, look at this. You just saw the blue skies and everything. And it looks like it's going to rain already. So it just goes to show you the power of this weather model. Alright, so you can see that. That's about the only blue left, really. And, uh, there you go. There's the result. Kind of cool. I hope it don't make you dizzy here, but I'll go do a little pan to the left. And a pan. You see all the chemicals, how they just kind of all 